Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to continue with the massing and site and I am going to cover the remaining terms in it. So if I am going to this term here massing and site and in the last video tutorial I have discussed about topo surface and in which I have told you how to place point create from import and simplify surface so you can refer my last video tutorials so in the today video tutorial i am going to discuss about these terms site component parking component building pad split surface merge surface sub region property line graded region and level contour so it is very important so uh, i am going to start with a building pad here so uh, if you bring your mouse here you can see it's a building pad it adds a building pad from a closed loop that you sketch on a topo surface so if you are working on a topo surface project and if you are working in hilly areas this building pad is very handy so if i am going to my 3d view this is a, a sloped surface and i have uh, designed one small building here but uh, your plinth level and um, floor level are not visible in this because we, we need to some uh, cut the region and fill the region so for that building pad is required so i am telling you a small region and also for a drawing uh, retaining walls you, you will be requiring this term building pad so now uh, uh, to make it uh, more uh, realistic we need to uh, first make a cut region here and then we need to fill it with some materials and retaining wall so i am going to my site plan here and now i am going to draw a building pad around this building so it can be of any size so i am going to select building pad here and if you will select building pad these terms will appear here like to how you want to draw your building pad you can use any of these so and here in properties you can see this is the name of building pad pad one and there are some uh, settings here which level you want your building pad so i want at level one and also i will tell you how to adjust with height offset so for now i am going to draw my building pad and i will use this rectangle here and i am going to draw around this site and it can be of any size so i will take 80 by 100 feet and i will click once here and i will finish this so now you can see this the cut region is created and this is our building pad so better will understand in 3d view so you can see this is the building pad which we have created so now you can work in your hilly area uh, project in uh, Revit so it is very very handy this building pad and now you can adjust the height of building pad because we are not able to see now also the plinth level so uh, I am going to select this building pad here you can select and edit the heights so uh, I am going to this properties here and this building pad, pad is at level 1 so I am going to uh, reduce uh, the height to minus two feet and then we'll see what happens so you can see now we are able to see our plinth level here so likewise you can do settings and also you can draw some walls here and also you can change the building pad material here you can go to edit type and you can change the structure here and you can change the material here in building pad so i am going to change the material and i am going to create a new material for this and i am going to use any floor material and you can apply any floor use this vinyl flooring anything you can apply okay apply okay so likewise you can change the material it is 
not visible so we will take another material here and I am going to select tile now I am going to select this wood pattern here I am going to apply ok 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 so now you can see we are uh, clearly seeing the building pad material here and if you want to draw wall around you can do this if you want to draw retaining wall we can draw a wall around this so I am going to my architecture wall and I am going to wall architecture and you can use this Genic masonry so I will take for time being 5 feet retaining wall here and I will use this one finish face studio and I will draw a wall around of 5 feet so likewise this is just to make you understand can adjust the height and start building your retaining wall so th this is at higher level so I am going to uh, make a height offset of minus 1 feet apply so you can see now it is almost at this level so likewise you can walk, walk you can give some steps and you can work on your hilly areas projects now I am going to tell you about how to uh, draw this uh, parking component so now I am going to uh, give a parking area here so I am going to select my uh, this building pad so and now I am going to edit this boundary and I am going to my level 1 and I will adjust the parking area for this suppose if I am going to draw a parking area here and I am going to trim this I am going to finish this and I am going to delete this wall for timing and now I am going to my 3d view and you can see this is the area for parking now I am going to my site here and I am going to use this parking component and you can start placing uh, parking dimensions here so you can also adjust this 90 degree 60 degree or 70 degree 80 degree parking and you can, can also make some settings so I am going to place parking like this And now we will go to our 3d view and you can see this is the parking component which we have placed here and also you can do some settings so if you want 45 degree parking you can enter 45 degree uh, angle here and also you can adjust the length of parking length suppose I want 20 feet here and parking width I want 12 feet and I will apply and you can see this length is changed here for parking and also you can offset from post so I am going to in make it one inch apply also you can make it five inch So likewise you can adjust the height of this parking component so uh, this is the use of parking component here and now I am going to my massing inside and this is the side component so it adds side specific elements such as trees parking island and fire hydrant so I am going to my side component and I can use these terms like trees so I am going to place any uh, tree here and 
and we'll go to 3D view. And we are in 3D view only. You can see this is the tree which we have placed now. So likewise, you can place trees around your site. So it will automatically automatically select it host irrespective of the control level. So likewise, we have placed trees around. So now again, I'm going to my site here. And now uh, the next term is split surfaces. So if you bring your mouse, it is telling split a topo surface into two distinct surfaces. So you can split your topo surface. So if I'm going to my uh, three view here, I'm going to select this topo surface and I'm going to my uh, massing end side and I'm going to split surface select this now I will select my topo surface and now we can split our topo surface so uh, I'm going to my side plan here and I am going to split this part here suppose I want to split this part here so I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to finish this so these two parts are separated one is this one and next is this one so we have separated this uh, topo surface so likewise you can use this for splitting the surface so if i'm going to 3d view and this is the separated part so now i am going to change the material of this so i am going to make it as create new material and i am going to apply grass material here any grass material i am going to select okay okay so now you can see these are both splitted in two parts so now if you want to join this again you can use this one merge surfaces so uh, if you are selecting this one at first and this one at second so it will take the material of first one so likewise it will selecting this one as first and this one as second it will take the material of the first one so i am going to uh, use this merge surface so i am going to select this one and this one so you can you can see it has taken the material of grass on the whole surface so i am going to control z and again if i am going to select this merge surface if i am selecting this one at first and this one as second it will take the material of the first one so likewise you can work in your rabbit project so i am going to select this one and this one i will select so now this is the method of working and this is the sub region so it defines a area within a topo surface so it can create pathways and you can make roadways in your project using this sub region so i'm going to my site here and if i want to create a pathway for this so i'm going to this sub region and i'm going to draw a path here so i'm going to select this straight line only and i can draw a pathway and you should not cross this line And I'm going to give an offset of 10 feet for road. And I'm going to close this. So if you will work on detail architecture project or design project, you can use these terms. So I'm going to change the material here. And I will apply any material here. So I am going to apply terracotta, apply OK and I am going to finish this and you can see in 3D view this is the pathway which we have created using this sub region. So likewise if you, uh, you can uh, make some steps here to going down or ramp or taking your car park inside. So this is the part of your architectural design project. So this is the method of working on your contour site plan. So I will move to next term here. And this is the property line in the last video tutorial I have discussed. So I have drawn this property line here to make my 
plot a square or rectangle or, or any shape so if your plot size is suppose 60 feet by 100 feet you can use this property line and it will ask how you would like to create the property line create by entering distance if you know the distance you can enter the distance and bearings and generally we used to uh, this uh, used to draw by sketching so I am going to select this create by sketching and suppose my length is 100 feet so I will go to 100 feet here can enter enter 100 feet here and if your width is 60 feet of plot so I am going to enter 60 feet and I am going to finish this and after entering you can see this is our property line and after that you can use this massing and side topo surface and you can place your point so suppose your plot is flat i am going to enter zero in elevation and i am going to place my point here and i am going to finish this and you can see in 3d view this is our topo surface using property line so likewise you can draw any shape using property line so it will give accuracy in your designs so uh, next i am going to discuss about graded region so it's graded region is modify a topo surface to indicate changes during the construction process so i am going to uh, use this graded region and create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one create a new topo surface based on the perimeter point so you can use this select a topo surface to grade how would you like to edit this so i am going to create a new topo surface exactly like this one and so this is the graded region so it is created exactly same so uh, this we can use sometimes So next is level contour so i am going to level my contour so generally our contour are marked so you have seen your survey drawing so you must be familiar so now i am going to use this level contour so it is used to display the elevation of contour line so you must be familiar with this if you have used survey drawings in your project so it is used to uh, mark the elevation of the contour line so i am going to use this level contour and this is the our text side here 1 by 16 inch aerial contour level so i'm going to increase this so i'm going to make it this as 1 by 4 inches so i'm going to apply you can adjust accordingly and you can see already it is marked here so i will show you how you can do so i'm going to level contour and i'm going to draw a line like this you can draw in any manner and now you can see this is the level of contours so it is at 0 feet 0 inches this one is as 1 feet this one is as 2 feet so likewise you can see the contour levels here 1 feet and 3 feet this contour line is 4 feet and this one is also at the same level so likewise it is used to marking the elevation of the contour so you can adjust the text size so i am going to reduce this as 1 by 2 inches apply okay and you can see the text height here so it is used to mark the contour line elevations so uh, this is very fast than autocad so i think you have understood all the terms so this was very important tutorial so uh, in the next tutorial i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks